It's me, John Laval, and uh, I want to tell you, uh, not tell you, I want to express some ideas. Uh, uh, why they killed Christ. Um, okay, we all know who Christ is. Uh, you know, some people accept it, some people don't. It's their business. I'm not here to preach, to tell you what to think or believe in. Uh, but we'll, we'll just say, for argument's sake, uh, uh, Jesus is the Christ, uh, the Son of God, Son of Man. Uh, we'll just say God, for example. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so he's God. And uh, the reason why they killed him, it was fear. Uh, people are generally, today's people back then, the same thing. They're hardwired. They have an ideology, and uh, it becomes comfortable for them. Uh, it's what they know, it's their environment, it's uh, the sum total of their experiences. It's what assembles uh, uh, a person's persona. It's, uh, his reasoning, his uh, intellect. And uh, it's very, very difficult to challenge that. Uh, people can get very upset at the point of violence. And uh, I've seen this many times. Uh, it's almost best to leave people think the way they want to. Personally, I do, but I know that uh, <coughs> and new ideas always take. For example, when computers came in, uh, the young people jumped into it, uh, but the old people said uh, no life is better without it. And uh, the old people, uh, I think, suffer a little bit uh, because they don't know how their phone works and uh, can't you know, operate the car properly. I've got a friend that can't uh, can't figure out where the high beams are in her car because she didn't jump into it and uh, lots of problems. Uh, anyways, uh, <coughs> but she's, uh, well, say hardwired or set in her ways. So when Jesus came along and preached a new idea, basically that's what he was doing. He was uh, preaching the same st stuff, but it was in a new light and people uh, couldn't handle the new light and uh, some could I mean obviously some did but uh, a lot of them couldn't they thought it was dangerous the church the uh, Jewish church thought it was dangerous that this man would go around uh, uh, with authority and uh, uh, the only way they could actually bring their justice was uh, to get him to declare that he was God, uh, this was blasphemy, and uh, it wouldn't be accepted by anybody. And uh, uh, the truth of the matter is, I've heard this many times, it's the Romans that uh, killed Christ. Well, if you want to look at the mechanics of it, yes, they were the ones that put him to death and they beat him and stuff, but uh, uh, Jesus was really of no interest to the Roman uh, authorities. Uh, uh, Pontius Pilate, right at the, at the point of uh, <coughs> where he was addressed with this problem, I actually didn't uh, want to get involved. Uh, there were too many wars going on. He really didn't. Uh, the only reason why I took any time to listen to it is because he had a fear there would be another uprising. And he was already dealing with too many wars as it was at the time, and uh, was actually getting aggravated with. Uh, having to be challenged with this issue and uh, basically said, okay, well, what do you want? Uh, what can I do? Because, uh, as I said, he didn't want any more, any more conflict. He was already tired. And uh, so he did appease them to a point. He, he said, he offered himself, okay, well, I'll, I'll flog him, uh, get happy with that. and. Uh, uh, they wanted more. They wanted. Uh, see, they weren't capable of. Uh, they didn't have. I don't know within, within their law or whatever. Uh, they couldn't kill him. They would have to get the Romans to do it. And uh, well, if you'll note that uh, Pontius Pilate, in fact, said, "I wash my hands of this man's blood. It's you know, blood of, the, of an innocent man." He, he just really didn't want to get involved in this. Even though he did this for a living, uh, judgment, putting people to death all the time. This one he didn't want to touch. In fact, his wife said to him that she had a dream that uh, this man is who he is. And uh, you shouldn't uh, get involved. And uh, he actually took his wife's advice, but uh, he was cornered. 
that's why he offered the uh, uh, that thing where uh, Barabbas and Christ would be put up and uh, the people could decide uh, which one would die and uh, this way I mean he was doing everything to get, get out of this deal that he'd been cornered into and uh, and even uh, in Gethsemane I think the garden there where Jesus was uh, spent his last uh, time before he was arrested uh, he wasn't arrested by Roman soldiers he was arrested by the uh, the soldiers of the church, the Caiaphas, uh, not Caiaphas, the uh, Sanhedrin uh, guards, uh, because he stood before uh, Caiaphas first, and then uh, basically got uh, you know, some type of a trial. Uh, uh, Judas got blamed for selling him out, but Judas, I don't think he was even aware. Judas thought that he was going to be presented as uh, explaining his ministry and. Uh, he had no idea that uh, they were setting him up, and uh, this is why he killed himself. He couldn't even live with this, uh, uh, with this outcome. So uh, uh, this is why they killed him. Uh, well, they really killed him because they were afraid that uh, he could affect the uh, uh, the way people think. He was affecting the way people think, and uh, it was scaring the church. And uh, the church didn't know what to do. So uh, if you don't know what to do, get rid of the problem, I guess. And uh, basically that's what happened. And uh, it actually made it worse for them because now uh, everybody knows uh, who he is. And uh, so it kind of backfired, but uh, it worked out in the long run. But, uh, anyways, that the people are hardwired. It's really hard to change people. So that's it.